These are just the little ones left over. Is this? These are bluegill. Bluegill? Yep, we caught bluegill, perch, Here's the crappies, and we caught black bass, but we threw them back. Why'd you put them back? Um, they have to be 15 inches, and the size I just don't keep them out of that lake usually. Let them grow. We caught one that we could have kept. I caught a bass that night. What are you doing? Matthew caught one. Trying to get done with this so I can go eat. <laughs> Here's the trap. Ew. Trying to get done with this so I can go get a red bull. It'll be good on my tummy while I'm cooking. I don't know what I have to do. I can take all the trash and then put so it in. So what do you do? Trying to get done with this so I can go get a red bull. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to eat this. Get all the trash and then put it in the bowl. Here's the trap. Look at Papa, I want to get the trash. Oh, I don't want you to get all the me, baby. Okay. 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 You're about to go somewhere. I know, but I can wash my hands. It's going to be a little bad. But we got one more. Why, they're so soft, they're skin. What do you think is the best fish to cut? Uh, the easiest? Mm -hmm. like that is. Your bass, your Ew. walleye, your perch, and then your worst are your bluegill and your crappie. Ew. Because they're flat and kind of rounded this way. Mm -hmm. So when you go to fillet them, you'll tend to cut through the backbone if you're not careful. <laughs> but see how I managed to get all that without. And the skin is real thin on this type of fish right here at the junction point. Look at that. Amazing. And see right here, they're so thin on the belly line. A lot of times it'll cut through where I don't want it to, so. And you know, we did, normally you do 30, 40, 50 fish a time at least. Electric knife kind of makes it nice. Oh. We get everything cleaned up. We're done. Nobody wants to see the cleaning up, so bye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye. Matthew.